hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be doing a very special video because in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to have a seamless foundation application and have like a flawless base like my base is always looking snatch sorry not sorry but it is so today i'm gonna show you guys step by step like every single thing i do to have a seamless beautiful skin base foundation all of the above thingy things so if you guys are interested and you guys want to learn then go ahead and keep watching make sure to like comment and subscribe down below okay guys so first things first i like to moisturize my skin and get it like bomb you know what i mean so first things first i like to apply like something on my lips usually have my tatcha lip mask i don't have it right now so i'm gonna use a gloss this is the maybelline lifter gloss in the shade moon you guys i searched high and low for this lip gloss and i found it finally found it i already have another video about these lifter glosses they're really good they're affordable they remind me of the maybelline i mean of the fenty beauty they smell so good like vanilla and like fruitiness but also a lot of people are saying they remind them of the kkw i think like just packaging because the formula i don't think it's the same i think it's more similar to fenty even the doe fit and everything Ooh, i love this gloss Again, this is in the shade Moon. I've been sorry if you guys could see if the camera is doing, doing it justice, but it's phenomenal and it's so bomb. So I start with some lip hydration because we're going to apply a lip color later on when we're finished almost with everything. So I do that. Then I like to go in with a facial facial mist and i love this one from pixie this is the milky mist i love this it's super hydrating and it's just it's like so quick and easy and like it feels so luxe i got the humongous one but there's a smaller one i just got a big one because i really like it and i douse myself in this like you see that do already on the neck on the uh decollage look at that glow but this has um glycerin it glycerin in it and it's really good glycol has a lot of great stuff but it also has like <sighs> facial fragrance so if you don't like that um or you have sensitive skin you might not like the scent but i have sensitive skin like really sensitive skin and i don't mind it also this is a product of korea so korean know what is up with like skincare so i really like this so i start off with a facial mist you want to be moisturized even if you're dry i mean girl what did i say even if you are oily you still need to hydrate the skin i have oily skin right now it's more like a normal a little bit dry somewhere some of the places but usually i'm always oily so the next thing i'm gonna do is gonna apply this serum bha witch hazel niacinamide zinc pca and zika seca starts with a c not z um so witch hazel it's kind of like a filler like it's an okay product usually it's leaning towards youth i'm older i'm 24 years old if you guys are wondering but this is what it looks like it's from bliss and then it has a little top and you just squeeze and product comes out i like this because it's so easy and i like the finish it's just so smooth and hydrating and i do see a difference and my skin when I use this like it just looks more clear glowy hydrated and that specific like launch uh, from those products are for acne prone skin which I have 
so I love it so I just let that sink in and this dries up pretty quickly so it's really good for those with oily skin because it dries up and you don't have to wait for it or it's not gonna remain like oily or greasy on the skin the next thing I like to do is I like to use another serum this is the Kadali uh, Vinosaur serum this is just super hydrating and smooth on the skin and I just love this I got this in a set The last thing I'm going to do is apply my moisturizer and this is my SOS Save Your Skin OK Beauty Soothing Face Lotion. It has white tea and zinc in it and this is a Korean brand and I love this. This stuff is amazing so I apply about that much. I'm almost done of this big tube and it's fairly inexpensive. If I'm looking down, I'm looking at the mirror, so I see what I'm doing. I like to apply this underneath the eye, also over the eye, in between in the eyebrows. I like to apply it everywhere. This moisturizer, did I have some eyelash? <laughs> this moisturizer is amazing. It's perfect for oily skin and this is made for oily skin. This is for acne prone skin like this um, with this packaging from their line you will see um, it's all like acne prone skin. They have different stuff also for like dry skin, combination skin but this like green color is for oily acne prone skin. So I use that. Not everything I use is for acne prone skin I still use some things that are a little bit more rich but these are like my everyday like the next thing we want to talk about is primers now primers are really important for the longevity of your face it's very important even though you moisturize you still want to prime I swear by priming if you don't believe in priming then you could just skip this step but I believe in priming so I love to prime there's a lot of primers that oh my god I almost forgot you need some sunscreen so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Shiseido stick this has 50 SPF so I just swipe this everywhere and I just blend I almost forgot if you do all of these steps but you forget your sunscreen all those steps were for nothing you guys you have to protect your skin so, this is what it looks like, by the way, if you guys were interested. I love it. Um, I was saying about primers. I had to get my drugstore version out. I've been really enjoying this NYX Marshmallow Primer. Um, I am going to use that, but the other primer I'm going to use with it is not drugstore. It's high-end, so I'm going to use this Huda Beauty I think hydrating water jelly primer yeah so I do have um this is what it looks like it's like a gel and it comes with a pump so I do like drugstore primers but right now for this video I want to use this I don't really have a hydrating primer from the drugstore just that NYX one so I'm gonna use it with this you guys have any hydrating primers that you guys recommend let me know down below I really want hydration that's what I am looking for so that gives me a more do we look more hydrated and I feel good next I'm gonna go in with Oh, I done dropped it. Hold on. <laughs> so next, I'm going to go in with a NYX primer and I'm going to focus this on the pores. I tried this out already on Instagram. Go follow my Instagram. Hopefully it'll pop up there. <laughs> but um, it's more hydrating. This, this reminds me of Tatcha a lot in a more hydrating way. 
but I like this primer a lot and it smells like candy. I got the little one because I wanted to test it out because the big one, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, is expensive. It's $17. Um, how do you guys feel about NYX? Like, I feel like their price ranges are inconsistent and like they have some things that are super cheap and affordable then they have things that are like pushing high-end like 20 and up and it's just like a primer the primer the marshmallow primer is like 17 bucks or something like that and that's a lot of money when you can get and the little one i think was like nine dollars something like that and look how small it is it's really tiny so i'm just <laughs> i'm just saying let me show you something that i'm comparing it to it's really good it reminds me of the hydro grip and it has a peppermint smell this has ugh, how many full ounces i don't even say it on here come on nails so it doesn't say it but look how big this is it has a pump so that's a plus and it the packaging is really nice this was roughly the same price or less than this little thing of nyx and it's a full size bottle so it's eight to nine dollars this little thing or less and you mean to tell me that the full size of this little thing is expensive and this little thing is the same price as the big bottle for elf it's crazy so next let's talk about foundation so i have a couple of foundations here and i don't know which one to use so i'm going to show it to you it doesn't matter if you use matte or hydrating it just depends on how you prep your skin and how you set it and all the above other things so this is the cult favorite Maybelline Fit Me. This is my favorite drugstore foundation, hands down. I love her. I went through probably 20 or more bottles of this. I'm in the shade 128 Warm Nude. I used to be 220, but I'm light, so that's my shade. And then I have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. I use this on the go, literally finger application. So I think I want to do... Okay, so before i move on i just wanted to let you guys know about the priming you want something hydrating at first if you're dry you want something that's gonna keep you hydrated then you also want something pore filling or something that's gonna mattify you in the areas that you get oily and if you're oily or normal skin you want something that targets those areas that you have issues with if you're oily you want something that's a little bit more mattifying but you always want to hydrate first because your skin is oily because it's lacking moisture and it's producing oils because you're dry in reality so hate to break it to you but you're actually dry skin and you need some moisture honey so don't prevent your skin from getting moisturized because you're scared it's gonna get oily don't worry about that just always try to go for something that's oil free so it could help you out if those oil like oil producing concerns and also a pore filling primer is going to save for life because it's going to make everything look super smooth. I use the NYX one that has some pore filling, but it's also hydrating. I really like that primer. I recommend it. I don't like the price though. <laughs> so next, I'm going to talk about applicators. And what that is, is how you apply your products. So I'm going to show you all the brushes that I like to apply foundation with. So let's see if I have everything. So let's talk about the recent one I just purchased. This is the Kat Von D number 10 brush. And this is what it looks like. It has an angle. It's like pinched at the top. I really like this brush. I got this brush from Ross and I paid $7 for it. So you like how I use this is just massaging it in and then kind of patting, patting motions at the end and it also works for under the eye i'm not going to use this brush but it's a really good brush if you can find it at ross marshall's wherever get it it's really good um my ride or die the one that i'm going to use today is my uh real techniques 001 
or I call it the 001 brush. It's a flat kabuki and it's super soft. The bristles are amazing and it's just a great product. 100% recommend if you find it, get it. I also like the e.l.f. buffing foundation and buffing foundation brush which is basically the same brush it's just one is new so I got two of these bad boys so that should tell you something there's oh one fell there's that I use for um, bronzer and it's really nice to blend out bronzer I really like it but then one of them I use for foundation and I really like this brush for foundation it's amazing I never found a brush let alone an elf brush because everybody just don't know they they be scared to get elf brushes but they're really phenomenal it it's like a dream it just looks amazing applicator is the sponge so the sponge is also a great applicator this is from elf it's super squishy and soft it's the trio from the uh, Retro Paradise collection. I love those sponges. They're all super squishy and they blend everything effortlessly. And then the last and final, your fingertips. These are the best tools to begin with, with your base. It's super good. One side I'm gonna, or some sides I'm gonna show you with a hand, a sponge, and a brush. So I'm gonna use all three today so you guys can get an idea and see. First things first, I'm going to grab a little plate to apply everything and I think I'm going to do one pump of the Pretty Fresh and one pump of Maybelline Fit Me. I like that combination. It's so bomb and you don't need much. I'm just going to mix it with my finger. Oh, you guys are more up close and personal to see. So I'm going to show you guys on my side. I'm going to apply it with my fingers so I'm just gonna apply like if I'm applying moisturizer this is one of the best ways to apply your products you just want to tap it in it's gonna warm up the product and really have a seamless effortless blend That is the application with the fingers. Now I'm gonna go in with a brush and show you guys the application for the brush. So have some product on the brush and I'm just gonna go swipe and blend. I swipe and then I buff and I also want to let you guys know you are going to get a fuller coverage when you use a brush or your fingertips and I'm just being 100 <laughs> next thing I'm gonna do is apply with a sponge now I'm gonna get some on the sponge and go to town I know a product is gonna work for me now this is just something personal but you guys could probably use this as well I know a product is going to work for me and a foundation is gonna be good to me if it applies seamlessly on my forehead when I see the application on my forehead I'm like okay this product's gonna be fucking bomb if it applies like horribly or if it's patchy i know it's not gonna work throughout so that's like something like a thumb thumb rule for me is if it doesn't work on my forehead it ain't gonna work anywhere else and as you can see this is so bomb on my forehead this is optional but i do recommend you doing this because this will take off any excess product and blend out anything that probably didn't get blended with the brush um, it doesn't always happen but sometimes it could happen where the brush leaves streaks or something the real techniques one never leaves streaks on me but I'm just saying in general you always want to go over everything just to make sure 
Oh, there's a hair. I really want to look and make sure everything's how your liking is. If you if it's not how your liking is, you can always go back in and fix whatever you don't like. Drugstore version. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Long Wear Full Wear Concealer. I love this concealer. This concealer is a little pricey at the drugstore, but I 110% recommend it. I have the shade 360 Cashmere. I have another one too, but this is the lightest one to brighten and conceal. And then the Laura Mercier A Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. This concealer is my favorite concealer of all time this is a 1.5 and i'm gonna go ahead and do a little mix of both of these just because we can so, so I'm going to show you guys the brush that I use and how I use it. I use this Japanesque brush, 18 brush from Japanesque. This is what it looks like. So I grab some product on here and I just swipe the brush like this. And I have some product on here. And I go like this and I just start buffing it right on the cheekbones. And I do it kind of high. I don't drag it like down. So it's easier to just stay in the center buff and go upwards than just staying here and kind of going low if that makes sense. So So you could look at everything. Now, I want the nose to be a little bit more defined. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the match stick and draw on where I want it to be more defined. So you're gonna grab the brush and you're gonna pinch it and you're just gonna start tapping it. And that's it you guys that is it and i go back into the center no additional product just tap the center of the nose and that is it do you guys see how snatched it looks or is it just me <laughs> so after this is now time for the powder now the powder is super important. You want to get a powder that you like, that you're comfortable with. I like the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 10, although I do think it kind of flashbacks. So um, whatever powder you like is good. For this video, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus, and that one is um, flash proof. And it's specifically made for that. But I like that one. I like the uh, honey translucent for the rest of the face um there's just a lot of different powders i'm gonna go grab my powders and show you how i use them and place them and all of that okay you guys so i have here the wet and wild autofocus this is the translucent one they also have a banana one if you want to use that one and it suits your skin tone better grab a brush like this i also use my sponge but first i use a brush and I go right underneath 
and set the under eye. So right underneath. I literally started and it wasn't even recording. So I'm using the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is what it looks like. Brow Blade. And I just drew a line and now I'm just starting to fill in. And the only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't have a spoolie. Like, why? I'm just using the Maybelline um, Brow Slim just for the spoolie. So that is that. And then I'm going to draw an arch <laughs> and arch my brow a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and brush the hairs up. That brow gel did nothing. Like it doesn't hold the brows. So I don't think I recommend it, but if it grows my brow hairs out, I'll let you guys know. So the brows are filled and we're still baking. The next thing I'm gonna do is bronzer. Now I've been using the uh, Physicians Formula Trio. You get this at Target and I've been using this a lot. So this is what I'm going to use today. I'm going to use the Morphe M523 brush. This is what it looks like. I love it. And basically I use um, these two together and it's called Light Bronze and Sunset Bronze. So I use those two. I just tap into the brush. Make sure you really tap that. And I just go in and buff it up. And whatever's left, I uh, bring it up to the temples. And bring some to the temples. Not a lot. Usually I overdo this part, but trying to learn <laughs> not to bring a lot of the bronzer to my temple because I have a small forehead but I always want to put a hella bronzer on there why I don't know don't ask me whatever's left I'm gonna bring it down the nose and this is gonna accentuate the cream bronzer so I like using this bronzer because it just melts into the skin I also like using Fenty but I use this for more super glam to have a, a bomb beat though so the next thing i do is go ahead and clean up down here with the sponge with whatever's left over a little brush that i used earlier and i'm just gonna wipe away the bakage that we had there Pat, pat, pat. The Clinique little trio that I got, and I'm gonna use this blush here. It's just a beautiful, like, rosy color, like pink. And this just makes me so youthful. So, what I do is I just start here and I bring it up and I just tap. I'm still like that person that likes a lot of blush and I like it at the what are these 
apples on the face. <laughs> Cheek apples, apple cheeks, something like that. The apples right here. And I like to bring it up and that just lifts everything. Um, for highlighter though, I'm not going to use this gold in here. I'm going to use a different one. So for highlighter, I'm going to use this Melt Cosmetics one. <laughs> this is in Stargazer. Look how beautiful that is. And for my uh, brush, this is an Everly 07. They don't make this anymore. I'm sorry. But this is the brush that I love. And I'm just going to start there. Like right here. Close to the apples. And just start bringing it up working it like you want it to look like it's going up and this is going to give you a natural application beautiful application and when you take pictures or whatever the case may be baby you're gonna look phenomenal To set, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Pixie Mist again. Any setting spray that you like will work. That's a hydrating mist, but I used it the other day as a setting spray and I liked it. We could be done here, but I'm gonna go ahead, do the eyes and do a little bit on the lips. Then we'll call it a day. So I'm going to go and uncrease these lids. I'm going to go ahead and go into this powder and dip my sponge in there. And I'm going to set the lids. This is going to give me such a smooth, sleek, seamless application. Some of the bronzer. This is Island Ting. Oh, my brush is all the way over there. Do I still want to do it? You could run some of a bronzer through your eyes. I'm not going to do it because my brushes are a little bit far. But I'm just going to do a lash, some mascara, and a lip. And then we should be done. I got this lash curler from a Ross. You guys can literally find anything at Ross. Anything. I'm going to use the Sky High mascara from Maybelline. This is Balms. I like this mascara. The only thing I don't like is how hard it is to take off at the end of the day. But other than that, it's really nice and lengthening. Lashes are done. And the last things for lips. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I just did a lip. I have um, Cold Brew from NYX lip pencil. And then I put Moon from the Maybelline Lifter Gloss on. And that is the final look. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Again, let me know if you guys want to see the foundation and concealer video. I really want to film it. Just let me know your guys' input. But yeah, so this is the end.